Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be talking about the Fat Shark HDO. And this is a very important topic before you purchase or even if you already purchased it, some things you need to take note of which um, can s make your goggles last longer basically. So something about the HDOs. Well, first of all, what does the O stand for? The O stands for, oh shit, I'm just kidding. No, the O stands for organic LED, which means organic light emitting diode, OLED. Now, who holds the patent for OLED? It's Samsung. Samsung's the one that developed it. Samsung's the one that holds the patents. It's the one that does it for everyone. It sells to LG. It sells to Apple. It sells to everyone. Anyone using, any big company using OLED, they've gotten their panels from Samsung. All right, so now that's said. So, okay, well, what's, what's, what's so cool? Now, OLED's an awesome technology. However, it has a huge disadvantage and it has a huge flaw which can be fatal at some times and that's something called the burn-in issue now what is a burn-in a burn-in basically means that you know if you have something that's static on a screen that does not move in for example a game an osd uh something that's static and never moves it'll burn itself into the screen here's a great example right here Maybe this guy was playing a game, he has his health bar, he has his, I don't know, stats or whatever, or he's playing, you know, like FIFA or whatever, you know how they have the stats down here. And from playing for so long, this is an OLED right here, as you can tell, it's burned into the screen, which is very bad. So yeah, that's something very important to take note of. And you might think this is dirt on your screen like I do, but no, no, this is actually burned into the screen itself here. So this is something very important. Now you might say, okay, well... I'm pretty sure they've found a solution. Well, actually, no, nobody's found a solution just yet. Here's a Samsung S7 that's just barely released and it already has a burden issue. This could be, uh, yeah. And there's also notes of, uh, you know, the the Apple, the iPhone 10, which was just based, just just released, like not very long ago. Already, people are starting to complain of burning issues because you have the menu button on the bottom and you have up top, you have your uh, status bar display thingy. Now, you know, even Apple, you know, their OLED that that's in the iPhone 10 is from Samsung. You know, they've partnered up with Samsung, even though they're rivals, and they've purchased the OLED technology or licensed the OLED technology to be used into their iPhone 10. So you might say, okay, well, well, how does that affect us? Well, currently, when we fly our quadcopters, we have our OSD always running. So our OSD is always running. Here's a great example. These are the buttons on the bottom. They're always there on this phone. This is, I think, the Google Pixel 2. And um, there's some people calling it ghosting, but it's it's called it's burning. And um, this is what happens right there. You burn the OSD into the screens. Now you might say, okay, well, well this is this is kind of scary because let me explain something. You're not you maybe you won't burn it the first year, second year, but third year and up, that's where you could possibly expect it. Now I don't know the quality of the OLEDs they're using, but that's something to be expected, and it might really happen to you if your OSD is always the same. So some things what you can do to kind of make your goggles last longer is basically turn off the OSD. You know how you, in Betaflight you can have a switch that turns off the OSD or every week or a couple days switch around your OSD so it's not in the same area. So you, you know, you don't have the uh, higher risk of burning those pixels in because they're so static and stationary and they're always there no matter what. So, you know, the risk of burning those in is very likely. And, uh, you know, it might be so small. I don't know how bad it could be. I don't know how uh, noticeable it would be. But it's something to take note of, especially if you're purchasing a $500 goggle. Now, I don't know how long that uh, their warranty lasts. Now, I know they have great customer service, and I love Fat Shark. I'm not, I don't have anything against Fat Shark. But in long term, like someone who had the HD1 until now, there is no such thing as a burden. LCDs have they barely ever burn in. So, you know, someone who has a HD one for five years now or six years now will, we'll, you know, this is going to be a new issue that's going to arise in the future. Uh, if, if, if a lot of manufacturers decide to go with the with the OLEDs here. Um, so the way to combat this is to basically turn off your OSD or keep moving around your OSD every week or so. Uh, that's one way to, um, you know, get rid of this issue. Now, you know, um, other than that, the picture, I've seen them, I've actually used them. The picture quality is absolutely spectacular. I mean, like super crazy amazing. Um, so I'm actually still thinking of getting one for myself, but I still love my HD3s and I don't have to worry about the, you know, the, the on-screen display. So I don't have to go into every quality now and turn off my on-screen display. It's basically the same thing almost. 
But um, yeah, it's just something to take note of that I think a lot of people actually bypass. I didn't hear anyone talk about this. Um, and uh, I'm pretty sure they've done their testing and, and, and Fat Shark knows what they're doing. But, you know, it's something in the future. And I don't think, you know, the warranty could cover that in three years ahead. Now, I mean, if you're paying $500, you expect those goggles to last you a couple of years. Uh, for example, my HD 3s now, I've had them for, I think, a year and a half, maybe. And um, they're still strong. I mean, absolutely phenomenal. Uh, so I don't know how much the HD 3s are going for right now, actually. Let's go ahead and double check this. So... Let's see what the HD3s are going for. The HD3s are one of the best uh, goggles ever. So were the Sky Zones, but the Sky Zones had problems with the faceplate, especially the nose area. What the hell is this currency here? Okay. Let's take a look. Still, oh, no. Oh, wow. $400. So $400, you know, I know it's tempting, like, oh, yeah, just 500 and I get OLED. Oh, my God, I want OLED. But in reality, no, this is not even the HDO. It's still five hundred dollars. This is the HD three. Never mind. Uh, I don't know how much the HDO is going for. Actually, it could be five hundred dollars or more. But um, yeah, I, I don't think it'd be worth it to be honest. Uh, I don't know. You know, it, it comes down to you. Um, but in reality, you, this is a big problem. Even you know, c come on, like I mean, the Samsung phones, the iPhone, the new iPhones, uh, the Google Pixel. Where is the Google Pixel issue? This is a Google Pixel. I mean, I mean, they got the top top from Samsung to use OLED in there, and this is why a lot of companies, some companies, avoid OLED. Um, so it's 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 um, yeah, it's a big issue. It's a very big issue. So it's kind of scary, also. So just take that into perspective, especially if you purchase one. Just keep turning off your OSD. Uh, it's the best to do, and then you could also just keep rearranging it. And um, what I mean by rearranging it is not like I mean make sure that same pixel will not be totally white for the next couple flights uh which means basically if the well, for example here we go so here you have your battery voltage and here you have your i don't know um your rssi and when i say flip it don't flip this here and this here because some of the pixels that were white are still white and those will likely burn in so what you want to do is you want to actually shift this up here you shift you know shift one of them up here you know just keep moving them around a little just make sure that the 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 in the previous flight that same pixel that you're pretty sure uh will not be white again that that's all you have to make sure of the same pixel will not be on the osd again on white again so that's very important to take note of and um i think that's it guys so i think that's going to conclude it for this video it's gone on for too long and i don't have the product in my hand to actually show you or do anything so yeah that's something very important to take note of and um i just thought i would just release this information out there hopefully someone could find it useful and that's going to conclude it for this video guys so if you guys really like this content please consider subscribing and hitting that like button if not put that dislike say fuck you it doesn't matter and um you could also join my patreon if you would like to support the channel you get secret access to my web shop and you get other giveaways and you get other awesome super things uh this month i'm giving away a lot of awesome crazy stuff so yeah that's one thing and um yeah you could also use affiliate links down below to greatly support the channel and well that's it guys i really hope you guys enjoyed it and i uh, will see you next time see you guys take care